playing with these toys in the living room when all of a sudden his parents come in screaming and yelling at each other. How is this making Timmy feel? Timmy feels very scared and a little bit of shame because, or guilt, because he can't do anything to stop the, his parents from fighting. There are millions of children that are going through the same thing that Timmy is facing right now. And it's affecting our society because there is nothing being done. There is nothing being done to stop the issue from becoming greater. My name is Ayamba, Ellis, Jamie, Kelsey, and Kate. And this is Domestic Violence of Young Children. Okay, so there are about 765 cases of domestic violence reported in a single year in Evansville alone. This adds up to almost two, over two a day. And this doesn't even begin to touch on the number that is reported statewide, nationwide, and the number of cases that go unreported. Um, as Ayamba mentioned, children witnessing violence result in feelings of fear, shame, guilt, and anxiety. And these same feelings are also feelings that would cause one to be violent. So if the same feelings are a result of witnessing violence, also cause one to be violent, you can see where an endless cycle is created. So our problem is that children are not receiving any follow-up after being removed from a domestically violent environment, thus resulting in the cycle of violence continuing. The AFBC, which is a domestic violence shelter for children here in the tri-state, stated that 83% of children that come through their doors already show domestic violence, or sorry, violent behaviors, and they also don't see anyone over the age of 12. So these are really young children already showing these types of behaviors, and they also stated that they do not conduct any follow-up with these children after they leave the shelter. So it doesn't matter how long they're there, once they leave, they're gone, so these same feelings are still embedded in the child. So we want to bring a service called the Vision for Children. It would be an eight-week program for the child. It would be a required service. And it would not be a one-size-fits-all approach. It would be based upon the child's specific needs because every child is different. Currently, there is nothing like this that is required for a child to go through. Um, Massachusetts did do a similar program where somebody that was exposed to violence, people exposed to violence frequently went through a follow-up program such as this and over 50% of people that showed violent behavior in the beginning of the program no longer did at the end, which proves this to be an effective approach. Okay, so to give you a, a little example of how a sample session would work, um, let's take into effect that like uh, we received a five-year-old child that had domestically violent parents. They would uh, be referred to our program and they would be evaluated by our psychiatrist or our therapist. And rather than having just like a one-on-one -on -one session, like talking session with them, and um, they could take them out to eat or play games with them, um, and then they would be able to also evaluate their emotions and their reactions to different situations taking place. And then once this is finished, they would be able to take steps and like plan a solution on how to eliminate these feelings within that child. So our service, like we've said before, is a requirement, and we'd really like to see this become a law. Uh, the value that we're adding is we're making each child feel wanted by really appealing to uh, their specific needs, emotional needs, um, just attending to those. Um, and we want to try to begin to repair the relationship with the abuser to the best of our ability. And we'd like to see the cycle of violence broken where children believe later on in life that violence is an effective way to solve problems or issues. We'd like to see that um, broken. So the Department of Child Services has a multiple response system that really focuses on um, reconciling the abuser and the spouse, um, but doesn't have much of a focus on the child. Uh, so we'd like to come in and work alongside of them and focus, like I said, on the child and the child's needs um, while they work with the uh, parents. So just a grid showing how we differentiate ourselves. Um, so Vision for Children, DCS, and CPS, we all require a visit um, immediately after the complaint and all focus on the family as a whole. But where we are differentiating ourselves is we are attending to the uh, children's specific needs. And this isn't just a one-time meeting. We're continuously following up with the children to try to repair the brokenness. Uh, our value proposition uh, for children who are exposed to violence in their household and receive no help or follow-up Vision for Children is an organization which reaches out to children following an abusive scenario. And unlike these other services, DCS, CPS, we follow up 
with the children uh, continuously to prevent these abusive behaviors um, later on in life. And we really care about all these children. It's a requirement to complete our service. Um, next, I'm just going to walk you through our business model canvas of what we'd be doing at Vision for Children. So starting with our value proposition, again, we have a required follow-up that would help try to prevent these different feelings. And um, it would be engaging and bit impactful. So kind of like how Jamie said with our sample session, we be sure to be engaging with these children throughout the whole eight-week course. Um, jumping over to our key partners, we'd work alongside with DCS, government agencies, and also donors when it comes to fundings and things like that. Um, key activities would be the creation of our different sessions and kind of making sure that the sessions, again, how it's not a one-size-fits-all, kind of fits to the children, and um, we'd also need to get employees for that. Um, key resources, we would have partnerships, also be working with professional psychiatrists and different people that are qualified enough to work with these children, um, and also we'd have unique sessions and we'd have our own building. And then going over to customer relationships, again, these would be personalized relationships with the child and also trying to get them to be reunited with their family as well. Um, customer channels, we would reach our different um, demographic through a website, uh, DCS, and also social media would be a way that we can kind of build our brand awareness. Uh, target set segments would be um, children in need, obviously, and the families that are involved in the different violence. Um, our cost structure, we would need some time to present the bill and uh, make it a law. Uh, we'd also need employees and rent slash purchase of our building. Also, our revenue streams would be through government grants, donations, and taxes, which I'm about to kind of dive into more. So kind of a six to 12 month startup cost, we would plan to have two different psychiatrists per district, so that we estimate that that would be around 150,000 for their two salaries. And then also website development would be kind of a fixed cost of $5,000. Um, rent and building expenses, we kind of estimated at 25,000. Business development, 10,000. And then legal formation, 10,000. And that could be an ongoing cost to kind of keep this available and keep it um, active. So look, that, that gives us an estimated total cost of about 200,000. And then going to our first year revenue, um, we would also get some income through taxes. So we're estimating about 10% of federal tax income which would be 90500 And then the following three programs that you see are programs that have uh, given previous donations to uh, domestically violent situations or organizations and stuff like that. So we'd work with the National Institute of Mental Health and we estimate around 75000 Administration for Children and Families would be around 30000 And then the Center for Disease and Control Prevention, again, they've done research grants for preventing violence and things like that. So that would be about 80000 So we would be a profitable organization. So um, in conclusion, we're ready to implement the vision for children. We just want to stop the cycle of domestic violence and save the children.